Hey yo! Well, uh, today's a little bit of a different day. Um, I've actually been trying to record this video now for almost two months, and something always happens, and I've really, really struggled. So, I've decided today I'm going to record the audio as it is. Um, so, hope you'll forgive me, and hope it's uh, you can listen to it without too much trouble. So, here we go. So, how I ended up getting ceramic coating. Well, it all started with me worrying about rusting and looking after my 125, my SIM NHT donkey. It really gave me a lot of worry when I started to see rust on my brand new bike just after a few weeks. I was really shocked and surprised. I knew I had to do something as soon as possible. So um, I asked around and everyone was recommending ACF50. So I started with a can. and soon it was used up and I thought well that'll be okay for the year it wasn't some work is okay fair enough but this was not sitting well with me after watching YouTube Megastar Exeter to Riders excellent video which I can wholeheartedly recommend and now it's quite a popular method of application this was a good start after finding a 5 litre can of ACF50 on sale I sprayed the bike a number of times throughout the year and it seemed to do the trick. After two-ish washes I found most of the ACF50 had started to come off and it was harder to clean again. So I was more careful and only looked for good weather. But then it really hit me. I was missing out on opportunities to ride and doing things as I was being too lazy to clean the bike. But what could I do? This was the balance, and there was a cost to riding, and I simply had to pay. My purchase of XCF later really was a changer for me. I found it a significantly superior product, and it lasted a lot longer than ACF. It's, it's really stuck to places. It was so much more easy to clean than before. So for me, this was an important lesson. I needed to keep trying new products, and there was always more to learn, and perhaps something would suit me better and really make a difference that I hadn't heard about. Prince. My intention for this bike was to be a forever bike. I wanted to do all I could to ensure it remained in the best possible condition and look after it the best way I could. This was achieved by spraying at the start of every season and then not using it. I know, I know it sounds dumb but I just couldn't get myself on it and to take it out really to the point it only did 100 miles in 12 months. It's from here I began to research what I could do and couldn't do. Patita, my trans album. Well, she's quite a, a different thought process. As you know, the point of my channel is about travel and biking. I'm a traveler at heart. And, well, one at the moment that sits down a lot and goes nowhere. Uh, okay, so let me start again. I love travel. Yeah, that's better. The important lesson here I learned from Sam Anakin is that it doesn't matter the method that you use to go and see places. The bike is fantastic as it does present many opportunities, but at the same time it shouldn't really exclude you from having experiences as well. One of the main reasons I bought the Transalp was firstly my affordability, second it was the right thing at the right time that ticked my boxes. The plan for this bike is to travel. I want to go where my mind and heart want to travel and I don't want the bike to stop or limit me. This was part of the rationale behind buying the bike and it should be cheap enough to replace so it's not the end of the world or a serious financial penalty to do so. They are reliable as long as they're looked after. I decided that if I couldn't look after my partner it was going to be a pretty difficult journey. What I could do was uh, keep it XCF'd but what else? What else could I do? This is where I saw an American video about a company that has started to ceramic coat cars. 
and I saw the water bead off and I thought, hey, oh, that looks interesting. However, when I saw it had a lifetime of years and not a few washes, that really got my attention. What were my expectations? Well, I wanted to have a longer life and protection for the engine and the frame. I wanted it to be easier to clean. I wanted it to be quicker to clean. And I wanted to stop new rust from forming. And I wanted the existing rust that was there to be cleaned up and halted. I started to search. And <laughs> it turns out there are actually quite a lot of places that do offer ceramic coating. Ugh, this was going to look more difficult than finding a good mechanic. I'd always assumed that ceramic coating was a uniform product, you know, um, a chemical compound fix like a generic drug like paracetamol. However, following the American car cleaning video, it quickly became apparent this was not the case at all. There just were no rules, no guides, no directions, no standards that I could actually make out to compare all these different products. A bottle could be anything from a few pounds to 20 pounds that, to hundreds. But they all claim the same thing. Now, around Derby, there are quite a few detailing co companies, but only a few actually accepted motorbikes. So, I started by ignoring all of those places that didn't state a specific product that I couldn't research. Now, I'm not going to name any garage um, by name, um, but we look at the first. Uh, the product they were advertising was Bright Max Amethyst Quartz 50ml and they put a price on that £65. They claimed this as a 7H ceramic car coating stating lasting protection from dirt, chemicals, UV rays, harsh weather and other contaminants up to three years. Offering a second product and that was called Bright Max Igneous Quartz 50ml at £85 stating 9H ceramic car coating kit 50 millilitres protection lasting from dirt, chemicals, UV rays, harsh weather and other contaminants up to four years. They were also offered another product called uh, let me see if I can say it right Ceramic Glass Coat claiming it was the UK's biggest up and comer with the latest Dymo Nano Rod technology crushed diamonds in brackets Truly mind-blowing results in finish, durability, toughness, which no other brand on the planet can match. So, this whole diamond crush business and the blurb just didn't tell me what I needed to know. But the parts I was interested in that made sense to me and something I would, could compare was the 7H or the 9H hardness and then they were claiming a 3 or 4 year um, protection coating. It gave how much for it was for a 50 mil, but they never told me how much it'd be for the whole bike. So it was really, really unclear, really, really unsure. Um, I just wasn't happy. Um, if I don't have the information right, the number of times I've been to do something in a garage, and they said, yep, we'll get it done, and suddenly I've turned around and changed the light bulb, it's 300 pounds. And I don't want to be, I've got no interest in being ripped off again. So it's super important that I have all the information to hand and with the first product, it just wasn't there. Garage 2. They had two products, a three-year Bike Guard Pro for 329 and a five-year Alpha Coat Bike for £429. The price includes wash decontamination, one-stage machine polish and professional application of ceramic coating. I thought, okay, now it's again something I can compare. Number one for the whole bike, it's £329 or 429 and it's a 3 or 5 but it didn't tell me anything about the hardness or such. There was another product um, that was quite, that the same garage, Garage 2, was advertising. Alpha Guard Graphene 10 month car and motorcycle ceramic coating. So graphene was another material that whilst in, it's in the media um, and it was saying it's so thin, I was quite unsure how it would work as a protector. Number two, the single item said it was for 10 months durability and the, and the application was 429 for five years. And so, but the product itself said 10 months durability. So that left me with a lot of room for doubt. So while the, while the product itself, the people who were selling the products, AlphaGuard, 
are saying has a ten month durability, it's being sold by someone else um, at 429 saying it has a five year durability. So there was a contradiction there for me. The actual home product page was saying one thing and the people who were applying the product were saying making different claims. That left me a lot of room for doubt. Graphene itself is an excellent conductor of electricity and is said to be where the next evolution for chipsets and forming armour and other things, modern materials etc are coming from. So my rule in life is that if you don't understand the basic concept of something and it doesn't feel right, walk away. And that's what I did. It all seemed a fad. Ceramic coating alone did what they claimed and all those extra things on paper and the rising cost just wasn't enough to actually convince me. Garage 3. Note, a lifetime of coating guarantee with all exterior coatings on our maintenance scheme keep your car in pristine conditions all the way around regular valleys. So the, the scheme here appeared to be that you would have to go for regular um, coatings and regular valleys in order to actually keep their um, keep their lifetime protection go guarantee. So there was several different products again here. The first one's called Nanomax with one year durability from a single layer high silicon oxide content applied to plastic, paint and exhaust tips. The single reserve was a three year durability from a single layer coating high silicon oxide content, same application and then they offered a Signature Pro with a five year durability with a single layer. Um, and their top of the range was a five year plus Signature Quartz from a single layer, a graphene infused ceramic coating which, they, which was 500 pounds. By the end of weeks upon weeks of searching, looking, comparing, I was exhausted and I was quite fed up. And I just want an ice cream to be honest. Prices were all over the shop, no one made any clear of what they were charging for, what they were going to do. There were just a few brands and they stated the important details, there were the hardness and how long it could keep for. So five years to five years plus was the longest time, but that was hitting the £500 range and that was way out of my budget. I left it here and did very little until around Christmas 2021. I took off the cover and only to find rust, I was absolutely furious with myself. More needed to be done. I decided to ask on forums to see what advice I could get and after compiling several different forums for advice, um, the ceramic coating thing came up again. What I did find is that many people had recommendations where they had been and where I found the same pattern being repeated. The cost from 300 to 500 plus pounds with products A I couldn't trace or learn more about. B, there was that typical three to five year guarantee range. And C, they would have had to be described as possibly questionable blurbs claiming various different scientific breakthroughs and miracles. Universally, there was a constant, all except one provider. Almost everybody used someone else's product. When I poked and prodded, they wouldn't take 100% of responsibility. When I asked a lot of questions, they either gave up or didn't answer. The thing that stuck with me was that if anything happened with the product being applied to my precious bikes and the company applying the product could quite easily fob me off and ask me to go to the manufacturer and I would just be stuck between a rock and a hard place. So with that it might be better not to do anything and keep applying with the spray on products. By this point I was fed up again. I saw there was a benefit but also a risk and wasn't sure if the risk was worth it. It was at this point I saw the suggestion of Supreme Coat again on one of my Facebook forums. Um, so in the end I decided to check it out. There was a couple of things that made me feel quite positive. Uh, first was the price, uh, £350. So that was very good. Um, it was much cheaper than most places. Having looked on a lot, lots of American sites, they were charging between $1,500 to 5,750 US dollars for ceramic coating a car. Most detailers were charging in that 500 pound range and claimed to clean it using a special two-stage process. And that didn't stand up too well to Supreme Coat's four-stage process as they claimed on the website. But they also had lots of examples and testimonials 
while others just simply just had pictures of jobs they had done, but no feedback from customers. Second, the other thing that uh, stuck with me was that this was actually a business that just did ceramic coating, meaning it was their bread and butter. It wasn't just a little sideline by a company that did lots of other things, or that were jack of all trades. The last and most important thing was their product. They offered seven years for old motorbikes and ten years for new. And I think those did and they do come with a Pacific mileage as well. I'll put them on the screen. This blew all other guarantees away. It was cheaper, offered a longer span, and I thought there must be a catch. But there were many positive testimonials from previous customers, which is something that most places didn't have. Third, and the most important thing for me, was that they manufacture their own Pacific product. They use it just for themselves. They don't sell it so that other people can buy it and apply it. So quite uniquely from what I found, they actually had a range of different types of ceramic coating for different uses. From boats, aviation, to solar panels, to cars, motorbikes, and even glass on cars and so much more. It was their product, made by them, used and applied by them so it sounded exactly what I'd be looking for so as I decided to phone I am told I ask too many questions and I tend to say I need answers once I get a question but I called and started to ask more questions after several minutes of battering poor Sarah's ears I got to speak to the CEO Darren Johnson when she passed the phone over I did worry that I'm going to get put down and I was going to be told if I wasn't going to buy anything to stop bothering them but no Darren was very patient with me and listened to all my worries and all I had to say and was very excited to tell me about his product I think it was his enthusiasm and his patience that led me to, led me to booking I would largely say at this point I was convinced about the product but I am a lister I made endless lists to compare things before I make a decision. I need to understand it in my own mind, if that makes sense, before I buy something. But with Darren, I found he was very passionate about ceramic coating, and I genuinely learned quite a lot from um, that initial conversation and subsequent conversations. He'd been in the industry for 20 years, worked with many major manufacturers to ceramic coat their cars. I was now focusing on the general public. More importantly, he answered every question I had, and at the end of a 30-minute conversation, I had booked both my bikes for ceramic coating and was organising myself to pay the deposit. And making an informed decision, knowing the pros and the cons, um, is the most important thing. I don't need a miracle. I need to know what the product is good for and where it isn't, so I can manage myself. That's what my feeling was after the phone call. It felt right. The right people, the right product at the right time. I had to wait till the school half terms to take my Transal, Patita, for treatment. The place was just around the corner from Meadow Hall. I got there safely. It was easy enough to locate the business. I parked up, I rang the bell, the shutter was opened and after my 10 minutes of faffing around I got off the bike and put all my bits and bobs on the table inside, the waterproofs outside to dry and I was greeted by Darren where we made an inspection of the bike and we marked out any existing issues and concerns on the bike. I signed the paperwork and was actually personally taken to Medahall by Darren where we sat and had a chat about many things. It was really a kind gesture. I appreciate how busy he was, judging by the number of phone calls, he was very in demand. But I'm going to talk about more about this in part two. Ultimately, after this meeting, I had a lot to consider. I rarely get the day off, and this was not normal for me. But I went to the cinema, I watched a film about a treasure hunter, and then got a slap-up meal. To be honest, I really enjoyed my day. Yeah, it was a good disconnect for me. After four o'clock, I got a call saying all was ready. After a short hop back, I finally saw Padita. She'd really been transformed, and I don't think I've ever seen her that clean. 
I did notice that uh, the parts where rust has started, these areas had been sprayed and cleaned over to protect it as much as possible. But after a chat with Daniel, the senior technician who worked on uh, about the old day, he explained all they had done and I left really, really happy. So thank you so much to all of you. Overall, my experience on both trips was very positive. Bringing in Prince, my Enfield Bullet tribute was very similar, very positive. With the bullet, I would say the transformation was more significant due to the gloss and matte colour scheme. The swirls I was shown before and after by Daniel were day and night different. The second time, it was exactly the same. I came in, we examined the bikes, filled out all the paperwork, and then I left by taxi to Meadowhall. Um, but this time, I actually watched two movies. But the second time, I actually planned things out. So I think I had a much nicer time. Would I recommend it? Yes without a doubt. Why? A nice break and a day out for myself, a spa day for the bikes as they say, and a treatment has been amazing for me. Cleaning is now a doddle, it's a peace of mind, it's uh, made me more relaxed and I can enjoy my bike a lot more, but not having to worry about the damage, the cleaning afterwards. And my biggest bugbear has always been cleaning spokes. It just irks me, it's, I hate doing them, I don't know why. But now I can just use a jet wash and it's just so easy. I did actually buy their snow foam um, to apply. Supreme Coat to say use a pH neutral one. Um, you don't need one, but we do sell one um, if, you, if you want it, it's not mandatory. And I found this an important element of my overall experience. They didn't try or force a hard sell with their products and that made it a more pleasant process. It gave me more confidence that I had made a good choice with Supreme Coat and Darren. In the end, I've had a brilliant time. I've had Supreme Coating on my, on my bike for about six months. It's made my life easier. It's done almost everything that I want it to do. I'm really happy. And in the future, I'll keep reporting my experience if there are any change. And I do expect it to last the time. Part two coming soon with an important announcement.